This week in the Texas Tribune Insider. No state allows death row inmates to donate their organs. Although Texas recently adopted a single drug method of executions, the Texas Department of Criminal Justice said it does not intend to change its policy. Criminal justice and medical experts say that recovering organs from willing convicted murderers is fraught with moral, ethical, and medical challenges that make this option unlikely. Find Brandy Grissom's September 10th story at texastribune.org. Reporter Jay Root takes a look at the impact that this year's electoral shakeup will have on Republican consultants in Texas. After Karl Rove helped George W. Bush get elected president in 2000, he left Texas, and a huge void opened up for other consultants to fill. A similar dynamic is playing out again in Texas in 2012, but it's not clear yet who will rise to the top. Becca Aronson has created an interactive map that shows, by county, how many Texans would lose food stamp benefits if a proposed $16 billion cut to the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program is approved. In a partnership with the New York Times, you can find the following Texas Tribune stories in the Friday and Sunday editions of the New York Times. Reporter Kate Galbraith looks into wind power's uncertain future in Texas. Although the state is the top-ranked wind power state, a key federal tax credit is set to expire at the end of this year. And green energy has come under fire from a range of officials, from Mitt Romney to Texas's top power grid regulator. Will this Texas power source be gone with the wind? The Legislative Farm to Table Caucus, started by Democrat Representative Eddie Rodriguez of Austin, is the first of its kind in the nation. It is considering ways the Texas legislature can remove market barriers on small-scale farmers and local food producers to help address urban health problems like child obesity and scarcity in healthy food. This bipartisan approach is unique in a legislature known for its sharp political divide. Texas public schools have started following rules passed last year on how to respond when student athletes get concussion injuries. Before, anyone could clear a student to return to play, a parent, a coach, or a trainer. Now, a physician has to give the okay. As of September 1st, all coaches in Texas had to complete concussion training. And, as Audrey White reports, legislators and doctors say the new rules will reduce the risk of students being more severely injured if they play with lingering concussions. Finally, reporter Amon Bathija profiles Paul Sadler. Ten years ago, the former state representative from East Austin decided not to run for re-election. At the time, Sadler was arguably the most powerful Democrat in the Texas legislature. Now the Henderson lawyer is running for U.S. Senate against Republican Ted Cruz. Sadler is learning that before he can persuade voters to pick him, he must first remind them of the power player that he once was. These are just a few of the stories you will find on our website, texastribune.org.